Hey guys, this is Peter, and I've been getting a ton of questions saying, what is going on with fill in the blank, but usually relating to what's going on with Cody. Well, a lot, here's, this will answer some of it. A lot of, uh, of our favorite repositories have got us some kind of letter in the mail that's making them or encouraging them to cease and desist. And some of them are laying low or doing something else uh, or pulling down their stuff. So take a look at what happened to one of our favorites, Noobs and Nerds. Uh, their account is suspended. So that's odd. It doesn't mean that they're running away, but uh, <laughs> you know, this is just hearsay. It's like a big soap opera and some of the stuff that may be true, but one of their developers was saying that um, uh, they're, they're leaving their stuff down for now, etc. Um, Blamo didn't receive anything. Blamo makes Neptune Risings and the new Placenta. So uh, when I take a look at trending Cody add-ons, Placenta is number two. So let's see what we can't get going. Uh, I know Placenta works, so uh, let me just show you how I install one of these or try other ones. You know, there is a wonderful way that you can try things. If you have a PC, here, I can show you that as well. But let me just jump in Placenta real quick because I already have one set up. I have these little test environments that I create on my hard drive. Here, and I call this one Test 2. I'm running Cody for the first time on Test 2. Here we go. First time nice and clean. This is a great way to test stuff because you can test it multiple. I mean, my hard drive is a terabyte big uh, on external drive. It's USB 3. I have no problem installing a hundred different versions of that. So here we go. Cody, for the first time, first thing you got to do is click on this wheel, go over to system settings and at add on, slide on over and turn on unknown sources. This will allow you to install stuff that didn't come with the Cody repository. The Cody repository is taken, uh, worth taking a look at. In fact, TV add-ons, which is fusion.tvaddons.com, not AG, that's what it used to be, .co is the new one. And they have lots of free and legal stuff that uh, will get you going. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, that turned on. I can do a video on that too. Uh, let's see, even if you went all the way back, you just click on this gear again go back to file manager we're gonna add a link now the link that we're going to add <laughs> you like how I jump back and forth uh, I'm just gonna click on one of these Plancenta is the one we we're talking about cruising down I'm able to s I'm getting good at this I can find it right away there's the link doo, doo, doo. I just hit copy and then I jump right back into Cody ba -ba okay click click All right, I'm going to add a source, double click, click on, click your way in. I'm just going to paste it right there. Now I'm going to give this away, or uh, <laughs> give this a name, Blamo. All right, there we go. Or I could have called it Placenta, but I can spell Blamo and I can't really spell anything else. If I give it a little click, 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 click. There, I can see that there's stuff inside. All right, so. Next thing we want to do is find our way back to the beginning. Click on the word add-ons and click on this little box. It looks like an open box. Now we can click on install from zip file. And guess what's in that, that link we made? I called it dot blamo so it ended up on top. There it is, the zip file. Now I'm looking underneath the clock and it's already appeared. That uh, repository is now installed. So let's just click on install from repository. And there it is, nice and red, Blamo repo. And I'm going to click on video add-ons because I know what I want already. N Neptune Rising is here. But here's Plancenta, and that's the one that's number two this week. And we just want to get up and going. So let's install Plancenta. And this one actually goes pretty quickly. Sometimes they s tend to stall, and they'll sit there at 8%. And you'll be going crazy thinking, if 8% took that long, that long I'm not gonna live through this but sometimes they go from 8 to 100 but this one seems to be well it just went all the way through and now it says downloading zero but it's probably gonna do that 4% thing there it has more resources to install and that's a good thing it's those other resources that are gonna make this work so let's just see do do 
right? So it's installing even YouTube. It's installing all the little pieces that it needs. It may go faster on another build, but I'm just going from clean so I get everything and everything's tied together and working. All right, it says 1%. This is weighted through. You know, I've already tried this on an Android box that I uh, unwrapped yesterday and uh, it worked rather well. So let's just give it a moment and let it do what it has to do. I'm looking at the time, it's 9.39. I may cut out the next section because it may take another two minutes. There we go. Plancenta module is installed. URL resolver or resolve URL. You may remember the URL resolver is a key piece that got yanked out and then noobs and nerds uh, had a really neat one um, but uh, it's good to see another one because uh, that's kind of the key piece and when they went and found the URL resolver uh, and yanked that piece or support for that I thought oh that's not good because there were so many different add-ons that use that. That's kind of like a, a search engine that goes out and scours the web and uh, finds what's available. So that piece is critical. All right, so here it is. Here's the 4% I was talking about. This is where it takes a little bit of patience. Make yourself a sandwich. But you'll see, it's going to go from 4%, maybe up to 8%, and then it's just going to say done. Well, here it is three minutes later and I missed it. It's already done. So it went from like five to six and I was like, oh, I got to go do something else. This is taking forever. And I didn't even see it get to eight, but it just finished. So uh, there we go. I guess that's good. I'm just going to click backwards. Now there's Neptune rising there as well. But here it is. Placenta. Weird name, but I'll go with that. All right, and you'll recognize we have movies, TV shows, my movies, etc. Let's click on movies just for fun. And I'm going to click on most popular. And I would click over to the clicking over to the left uh, so that uh, I can see something different. I don't like the wide list. I like the wall. That's more my style. So, oops. There we go. This would be a wall of artwork, and it shows you what, uh, well, what's popular right now. Um, I'm going to go click on something else just for fun. Hey, I got a 1080. I got nine of them, and this is without real debris. Let's see what we got. All right, the first one didn't work. Let's try the second one. Five, four, three, two, one. This one looks like it's gonna work. And it is streaming mighty fine. There you go, guys. Up and going. Well, guys, all is not lost. There's plenty out there still working. I'm going to keep investigating new ones. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And if you already have subscribed to my channel or if you just enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up. Now, what I wanted to do really quickly is show you how I make these little environments. So here, you might want to be able to play with different uh, add-ons, etc., like that. I'm just going to bail out of this straight to my PC. All right, let's go to my PC, and I'm going to go to my external drive. Now, I have a version of Kodi Krypton 17.6 here, and I just run it for an install. Now, I point it to my external drive, which is my E drive. There, E drive, and I just give it a different name. It's, yours says Kodi, probably C. Change it to an external drive. Kodi Test 3, there we go. I just let it install. Now the most important piece is coming up. Do not run it. <laughs> so when it finishes, usually there's a checked box that says, do you want to run this? 
No, you don't. Not yet. There's a few things you want to do in order to make its environment portable. It makes it all self-contained, kind of like it was running on a Mac. It's going to be a folder that has all of the different pieces in there. So it's really easy to do. It doesn't take much work at all. You just have to follow the steps. Let's just give it a second. It'll be done soon enough. Hey, you know what I'll show you how to do? I'll show you how to do the TV add-ons piece. That's right. I've got that one memorized. Fusion.tvaddons.co. So let's go get that one. All right. So yours might be checked here. Uncheck it and click Finish. And now what we want to do is find this new folder. Here's mine, Cody Test 3. And here's the Cody EXE. Do not click it yet. <laughs> you can hover over the word itself and right click it. And now click um, Create Shortcut. If you didn't see Create Shortcut, you weren't clicking on the word. You have to actually click on the word, not just on the line. All right, so now we're going to right click this shortcut and go to Properties. Here, where, this line where it says Cody.exe, put a space, a hyphen, and the letter P for portable. Supply and click OK. Now we want to right click this again and rename it. And we can call this Cody, code, I'm going to do all caps, Cody test three. There we go. Now it, that shortcut has a different name. I'm going to drag it one folder back so it's at the root of my drive. Now all I have to do is find Cody Test 3 and click it. And make sure Cody wasn't running anywhere else. There. Now I'm running a clean version of Cody from my drive. I'm going to allow it access and I can go straight back to what I did before. Add-ons, unknown sources, yes. And let's go ahead and do the file manager like I was talking about, adding a source. Let's add this new source, which I have memorized. HTTP colon slash slash fusion dot TV add ons dot AG. No, not AG. That was the old school. There we go. CO. And dot dot fusion. There we go. And you can even click click and there it is you can see that there's stuff inside but to get there we're gonna have to go to add-ons click on the word click on the box click on install from zip file click on fusion begin here and the zip file so I'm looking underneath the clock and it's gonna show me when it's installed and the repository is installed at least it should looking over there it is so what it's actually installed is not something we need to install from the repository it's actually already installed a program so we just escape there it is there's the program it's called indigo and it's a wizard so for those of you that are new to this there's a whole lingo here and a lot of people use it incorrectly so tv add-ons is a resource it's a rep it's a repository and inside that repository are a lot of add-ons. And that's what you're after, are the different add-ons. And oftentimes they have a thing called a wizard to help you install it. Now, once you install a wizard, you actually get someone else's version of Kodi, and that's called a build. So uh, it's just fun to actually know the actual <laughs> terms. Um, let's see. So now it's co configuring it, which means it's installing a lot of different pieces of different add-ons and I'm gonna get someone else's version of a build now usually a build looks dramatically different because they changed the skin so uh, man I this lingo was the hardest part to get a hold of I think because there is just so much and oftentimes it's used incorrectly in fact, I'm even going to throw in that maybe I use something incorrectly. I don't think so, but <laughs> I've been doing this for a while. Installation is complete. It's going to exit Cody. To, all right, but all we have to do to get back in is rerun Cody. For us, we just click on that. We saw the splash screen start us up. 
and here we go we inside it left us the same skin this is not it's not confluence this is called estuary so we're still with the estuary skin you're free to change it one of my favorite is Aeon Knox and I have a whole bunch of uh, videos on Aeon Knox Silvo 5 and where to get it and how to configure it it really does a beautiful job not only does it change the way that this looks it has things called widgets and it goes out and pulls the web for you but anyway I digress on to add-ons here's what it's installed indigo there's that was the wizard cool thing about documentaries YouTube live uh, UK TV earth cam uh, film on which is excellent and I like these ones Newsy and Pluto those are just great they have like live news stuff in fact let's just click Newsy when I was checking out the project projector the other day that's what I did I clicked on watch live and it's gonna pull in a live IPTV stream that belongs on the internet <laughs> it's all good and as far as I know completely what give it a second it'll start moving there we go and it looks like this good forever it's a beautiful picture all right so there you go that's up and running you can even add uh, to this so I do like doing it in a safe sandbox environment but uh, you know where you can test things out at first before you go to your main build and start changing things around all right guys there you go thanks so much for watching give thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so see you in the next one